Hey, we're live. What's up, Instagram? So uh, in this live, I'm going to be covering the top five books uh, that I realized was essential for, you know, changing the framework for how I think about, you know, especially if you want to be uh, a leader or be successful, right? Um, I think it's really important to, to dive into some really good books because, you know, School doesn't really teach us how to think. It'll teach us skills to get a job, but um, I, I think they said something where you know school will teach you how to make a living, but it's the self education that will teach you how to make a fortune. So I'm gonna talk about you know my top five books in my library right now, and uh, if if you were to get started, you know in entrepreneurship, these are the books that I would recommend that you start out with. So uh, this is my favorite book, right? It's Think and Grow Rich. It's written by Napoleon Hill, and it talks about the 13 principles for success. Um, and Napoleon Hill, he ended up interviewing 500 of the world's wealthiest individuals at the time and really boiled down everything that they did to become successful down to 13 major principles that they all had in common in one way or another. And so... That also brings me to uh, the book number two. I don't have it on hand, but it's also written by Napoleon Hill and it's called Outwitting the Devil. And so the reason I'm bringing it up right now is because Thinking Grow Rich will tell you everything you need to know about the good things about success and the 13 principles of how to you know, achieve your goal. But, but Outwitting the Devil will tell you about all the bad things that come with it. What's happening, Zach? So, um, you know, when when you do decide that, hey, I do want to, you know, become rich, it, it's not going to be like an easy road. There's going to be like a ton of obstacles in your way. And so you really have to understand what your end goal is in mind and have like a definite purpose or else, you know, the negative thinking is going to, um, it's going to stop you and cause you to give up. So, that's why the two books go hand in hand with one another, because it tells you, you know, what you need to know and what you need to look out for. All right. So that's number one and number two. The third book on my list is uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Right. If you are a beginner, right, if you are considering anything with uh, entrepreneurship and business, right, Rich Dad, Poor Dad is a go to book in terms of understanding the basics. And it's really cool because uh, Robert Kiyosaki, he basically wrote all these books to, to be treated like a, like a course, right? So for me personally, I never got a finance or business degree, but I was able to, to get all these guys and it basically was able to, to serve way better as, as um, teaching me everything I needed to know about finance and business um, itself. So what I would recommend, if if you haven't like read books yet, start with Rich Dad Poor Dad. It's simple. It'll teach you the foundations of how the rich think versus how the educated middle class thinks, and it's completely different frameworks of mind. But it'll help as well. I'll actually uh, tell you a story. When I read this book a second time, I realized that I gotta start. This is this is a book. It's called the Cash Flow Quadrant, and I realized, damn, I'm really thinking like an employee right now, and I gotta start thinking like a business owner. So, in this book, he'll he'll dive into the different quadrants, and it's basically like the employee, the self employed, the business owner, and the investor, and how each quadrant requires a different level of thinking, and um, he'll explain you know where how the rich think, what framework they think from. And um, it's worth it's worth reading. Now I will warn you, right? If you do read this, right, you may consider quitting your job. So so you know don't read it if if you just want to stay um, where you're at for the rest of your life. But um, so yeah, that's that's rich dad poor dad, and facts. The employee thinking is a major key. <laughs> facts. So the fifth book that I want to talk about is uh, Tony Robbins, right? It's called The Waken the Giant Within. And this is more of like a personal development book, 
but it's it's going to teach you, you know, how you can change your life right now, right? You don't need to wait until you become rich and successful to actually enjoy life right now. So he'll give you literally um, the master system for doing that right now. Uh, the biggest thing is it's all about your state of mind, right? Changing the way, uh, like your state of mind right now, you can actually change your life. And I'm not going to be able to explain it fully on this live, but go out. If it, it is a big read, um, it, it's a more of like a textbook book, but if you are interested in that and in personal development, like go out and read Awaken the Giant Within. That's definitely a top five for sure. And um, yeah, so I do want to let you know, I'm going to be doing a lot of lives about books that I read, about things that I learned, because this is kind of the brand that I'm building rather than talking everything about Amazon. And I will announce like, there are some big things coming up with um, Amazon and teaching you how to really start your business, start your LLC, and start making money online. And then, you know, this is just the beginning, right? This is this brand that I'm building is way more than just that one e-commerce uh, stream of income. I'm gonna be ideally rolling out multiple streams of income because, you know, that that's the end goal. But I think this is a great place to start. Um, but anyways, what I'm saying is, I'm gonna be doing a lot of lives talking about the books that I'm reading and things that I learned from it because I'm more into to building people rather than building businesses. And I found a lot of value for my life from these books. And I know not everyone's going to go out there, buy the book and read it because they're not sure that it really can help them out. So that's why I'm going to jump on live each day and just share with you how this impacted me, what I learned from it, and so on and so forth. So that's the conversation for today. Thank you guys for watching. And I will catch you Mondays through Fridays right now. I'm doing uh, a live every weekday at 1030 a.m. So if you are interested, stay tuned for that. And I'll uh, see you guys tomorrow. Peace.